Hey there, my retro dolls. What up, weeches and beaches? So I had some downtime today and I was watching French Fried Girl and she was re-watching a video of Chantal when she was in Cuba. Complete fucking shit show to be like thousand percent honest. That got me to thinking, all right, let's pull some cards on Chantal and Nader and Dee Dee and what that whole dynamic really is. I mean, we all have our speculations. We all have our assumptions and our you know, judgments and all that kind of stuff, but let's see what's actually going on. So before I get into this, I just want to say this is for all alleged entertainment purposes only. Shout out Aphrodite for that little disclaimer. <laughs> also, don't be sending hate to any of these people. We can speculate and look on the outside. Like Pulpy says, these are choices that people make and put on the internet. And this is commentary based off of that. That does not mean that we need to involve our lives or their lives and have that intersect in any way. So with all of that being said, do not send any hate or any kind of shit to anybody mentioned in this video. So let's get into it. I'm going to be using my Hocus Pocus tarot deck. Let's get into it and see what's going on. I first want to look into what is the dynamic between Chantal and Nader right now. So I'm filming this on what is today? So I'm filming this on July 30th, Saturday, July 30th, 2022. So we're just gonna see what is going on with their energies as of right now. So, okay. Oh my God. You know what? I think that in the little short video that I made, which I will link above, the one that I made about Nader and Chantel when I first did this reading, I'm pretty sure one of them showed up as the Knight of Pentacles, and this is the Knight of Pumpkins, which is representative of the Knight of Pentacles. So just interesting how that's all happening. Okay. All right. So like I was trying to say before, and then ADD, ADHD kind of like took over and I got distracted. I'm pulling three cards to start off with. One is representing Chantal, one's representing Nader, and then the card in the middle is going to represent the energy in between. And then we're just gonna pull from there and uh, kind of see what shows up. It's interesting because usually, and I'm hoping you can see this really well because I can't see what the camera is looking at right now because I'm using my phone and it's not front facing. So like, Wish me luck, y'all. The weird thing is like when I'm reading for couples, I can usually get a vibe on who's who, but to be completely honest, I feel like the two are so similar with their energies that it really just depends on the day as to like who could be the Knight of, of Pumpkins or the Knight of Pentacles and who could be the Ten of Pumpkins in reverse. You know what I mean? Like it really just depends on the day who's showing up as who. Cause like, dude, Chantal and Nader are the same fucking person, to be completely honest. You want to boil it all down? Their energy is so bleh, you know what I mean? Bleh. They kind of are two sides of the same coin. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. And the energy between is the Ace of Candles. Uh, dude. All I keep hearing the word is vitriol. 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 They just keep like throwing that at one another and saying, like pointing the finger at one another, but it's truly the pot calling the kettle black. So I don't think I'm going to say anything in this reading that we haven't already like felt or known. So the vibe I'm getting right now is like the Knight of Pumpkins today feels a little bit more like Chantal's energy of saying like, this is how it's going to be for the long haul. This is how I'm going to be for the long haul. I'm not letting this fucking thing go. I'm just not letting it go. This, I just, I'm not letting it go is what I kept hearing. And the 10 of Pentacles in reverse or the 10 of Pumpkins in reverse is basically just looking at their bank account and looking at the, the big picture um, as like non-existent anymore. So this idea of like, oh, this being, for Nader's perspective, this being the cash cow for long-term, nah girl, she broke. And the idea of Chantal thinking that this is gonna be a long-term commitment or this is gonna be like marriage and all of that good stuff, that, that's out the door. But what is keeping them involved with one another is this like, uh. Like, I, like I'm trying to be as professional as I can about this, but honestly, it's her addiction and his addiction that are really driving this train off the tracks. But it's still like, keep, you know what I mean? This is just a fucking shit show. And she's addicted to the sex because honestly, I get this vibe that she has such a deep self hate and such like 
deep insecurities that for somebody to like even have sex with her she's like holding on to it for dear life like honestly if you listen back to any of the videos that she had before like before all of this crackhead olympics and all that shit happened she was talking about stories when she was a teenager and she would obsess over these people and stalk them and even if they told her no she would do that to them you know i, I say alleged for entertainment purposes only but you can go and like look at that shit yourself it just feels like anybody taking interest in her she's latched these next three cards are for sean's hall we have the three of lightning which represents the three of swords so that's heartbreak baby then the world hmm. and the chariot in reverse dude she's not letting go of this one it's such a fucking roller coaster i think that she's so used to heartbreak and so used to negativity that she's kind of just like like nuzzled into it and gotten comfy with it so as much as she may say that she hates this or she wants better for herself or that she's gonna change her ways or all of this kind of stuff it's bullshit it's blowing smoke up your ass because there's no forward momentum from her it's all just the same shit different day and even though there are true opportunities for her to change she's latched on to the heartbreak and kind of assumed that as her forever story you know and then for nader oi king of potions four of potions in reverse and the magician in reverse oi 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 so you know how i was like i don't think that i'm gonna say anything brand new in this reading well this is a good example of that because this is basically saying he truly thinks that he is speaking from a place of emotional stability that he knows what he's talking about that he has emotional intelligence that he is like has practiced discernment in some capacity but the truth of the matter is he's full of shit Ew. And then overall, here's here's the takeaway here. Ace of potions in reverse, so ace of cups in reverse. The eight of candles, so eight of wands. And transformation, aka the death card. So basically the whole thing in between them is constantly trying to rewrite the story, constantly trying to start over, to turn a new leaf. They really the, like honestly they're operating from the definition of insanity of doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again expecting different results because what i'm seeing is like they truly think that they're doing something different chantal thinks that she's like turned a new leaf and she can do all these things but it's bullshit and the same thing for him is i'm speaking from a place of emotional intelligence i am speaking from a place of authority but it's all bullshit and so while they think because honestly, I feel like they're operating from a place of delusion and with drugs being in the mix, uh, alleged, all alleged for entertainment purposes only, you know, conspiracy, whatever, that whole thing. When you're throwing that into the mix, delusion, drug use, addiction, uh, insecurities, all of that, you don't operate in the long term. You don't really operate in depth, at least not with these two. And so they think that if they lay low or if they do something different that it'll change the story or that things will be different but they don't realize they're just doing the same thing over and over and over and over again expecting new results you know and the underlying energy here is the two of candles in reverse or the two of wands in reverse and that's just telling me that there's friction between the two of them so it's kind of a fucked up situation that they're in because it's like again nothing new she's addicted to the attention the sex the honestly that might be it and he's just kind of stuck on feeling superior having his ego stroked and the attention and also to a certain capacity the financial aspect of it but honestly i don't think that he's looking at the financial aspect like he used to where he was looking at chantal as a cash cow he's more so looking at this whole operation as being collecting coin off of now the the popularity that he has you know what i am not gonna taint my oracle 
with this fuckery. Hmm, let's see the three of them at this point. I'm going to tread lightly on what I say, given all of the information that we do know about what's going on or what has been going on with Dee Dee and Nader. Let's just look into the three of them and their dynamics. So again, I'm gonna start by pulling three cards. There's gonna be one for Chantal, one for Nader, and one for Dee Dee, okay? So let's get into it. Ew, connecting to this energy is like making my stomach hurt. Like it feels like this pit in my stomach. Ew, and in my throat, it's honestly like this energy of feeling like you're right on the cusp of being nauseous and it like being right there. Yuck, that is not a pleasant feeling. <laughs> the underlying energy is the 10 of candles, which represents the 10 of wands. And let me just say that's the card of burden not worth having. So we can already tell that this is on the like on point. So here we go. <laughs> and Nader, ew. <sighs> wow. I just want you to, to like take a minute to look at the imagery of these cards that are coming out, okay? So Chantal is showing up as the Ace of Potions in reverse. Nader is the Two of Pentacles. And Dee Dee is the master or devil in reverse. I just want you to focus on the card that is supposed to represent Nader. And the fact that it's basically representing this energy of, of Dee Dee and Chantal being interchangeable to him. He's just like, oh, one's pissing me off. Okay, I'll go to the next one. And back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And the thing that like I find so like yuck so the card that came out for Chantel being the ace of potions when it first came out it was kind of at an angle and i genuinely think we should just keep it at an angle because bruh i ain't trying to diagnose anybody with anything but this honestly like something's off with Chantal is what i'm feeling you know allegedly conspiracy whatever it just it she just feels like something's not right with her like chemical balance you know what i mean because the ace of potions in, in the like in between is literally saying like this interchangeable energy that two of pentacles or two of pumpkins that's showing up for nader it's like when Dee, Dee is out of the picture momentarily or whatever when she's being exchanged for Dee, Dee and she's in good favor with nader She's like, Ace of Cups, upright. Oh my God, I'm so happy. My cup running it over. Oh my God, I'm about to get some drugs and some dick. Allegedly conspiracy, whatever, you know what I mean? But that's the vibe that I'm getting. And then once she's bit the hand that fed her, she goes into the complete opposite. I'm pissed off. Everything is garbage. Fuck this shit. I hate everything. And that's when you're seeing all of those rages happening. Now, Dee Dee showing up as the devil or the master in reverse like bums me out for her to a certain extent because it feels to me like she has a lot of really deep wounds around addiction it feels to me like i don't know if her parents or one of the adults in her life struggled with addiction but it feels like she has experienced this shit before where it's toxic relationships drug use addiction manipulation all of that that it feels very familiar to her and it feels like something that she kind of left in the past and now it's back you know so it it just feels like she has completely picked the entire scab off a very old wound these next three cards are going to be for Chantal then the three cards after that are going to be Nader after that it's for Dee Dee so Chantal six of candles or six of wands in reverse oh wow six of lightning or six of swords I swear to God, if it's another six, okay. And the Knight of Pumpkins. I guess she really was the Knight of Pumpkins in that previous reading. Bruh, she can't figure out what's her fucking head and what's her ass. And it's been that way for a really long time. So just to give you an idea, the Knight of Pumpkins or the Knight of Pentacles is about like stability, long-term, sturdy kind of shit. And so this, what's coming through is like, she's always finding her herself in a place of 
being in a toxic environment, not really leaving it behind, not allowing herself to recognize opportunities for victory. It's just very hot and cold. And again, like I was saying before, I'm not trying to diagnose anybody with anything, but this, all I kept hearing is bipolar. And again, I am not diagnosing anybody. That's just the energy that I'm picking up on. Allegedly conspiracy, whatever, but it very much feels like hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. And it's been that way forever. Now on to Nader, we have the fool in reverse. This motherfucker knows exactly what he's doing. The knight of potions, ew. And the seven of potions, mm-mm. Nope, 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 nope. I don't like him because he fucking, he plays naive to his victims. You know, the cycle of love bombing and then all of a sudden it's attack, that kind of stuff. The love bombing is the part that fucking gets to me because he plays naive when it suits him. When he's trying to manipulate, he plays dumb. To me, this if I didn't know what he fucking looked like, I would say he's probably really charming. I don't know how he gets off, like how he gets by with all of this shit. But like, honestly, he is, he's unfortunate looking. Let's just fucking call a spade a spade. He's unfortunate looking. So I don't understand how he's able to manipulate and charm these people. Cause yuck, you know, um, it takes a, a very uh, a very special person to be charmed by this, but it seems to have worked for him. There is nothing he won't do to get what he wants, essentially. He's also very paranoid about things too, is what I just got. Like he feels he feels threatened about things that aren't there. Now let's move on to Dee Dee. Empress in reverse. The two of potions in reverse. Oh gosh, a lot of mother wounds, which makes sense because she's struggling around what's going on with her mother and the dynamic between her and her relationship with Nader and also her and her relationship with her mother. And then the ace of pumpkins in reverse. And again, pumpkins represent pentacles. So this is like ace of pentacles in reverse. Dee Dee's in a really tough spot right now and tough by like, she's in such a fog. Like every card that's come out for her is all in reverse. And when I see like a blanket of cards all in reverse, that tells me that the individual is like not thinking clearly right now. There's a lot of really big things that are going on for her in regards to her mother, her relationship, her finances, and she's just really fucking going through it. So when I tell you that she picked the scab completely off a fucking childhood wound i mean it it feels like she's being tested on so many different levels and like honey buns the point of a test is to pass and like girl are you i'll let you answer that one if you if you happen to be watching this dd you know anyways overall energy for this we have the eight of pumpkins which is about hard work the tower holy shit which is catastrophe and the ten of pumpkins in reverse we talked about this that's the long-term money and the long-term relationships again in reverse so this is a lot of hard work to keep together something that's not meant to be kept together on all fronts this is just a shit show on every fucking level and the, the, you know what I mean? Like, let's just take a step back, watch it at your own discretion, but just know that like them trying to gaslight us into like, oh, we're changing and you're wrong about me and all of this and da 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 da. They are fully aware of the skeletons in their closet and the one, like, it feels like Dee Dee is the only one who's conscious to the fuckery. And that's the only reason I sympathize with her slightly because I'm like, girl, wake up, you see it, they don't. They're they're lost at this point, they're lost in the sauce. This is a roller coaster that they don't see themselves getting off of because they don't recognize that they're on a fucking roller coaster or a loop-de-loop. -loop. But Dee Dee recognizes that. What will come of that? I have no fucking clue. Anyways, let's just see. I'm gonna pull one Oracle card on this. What is it, oh, what is it that Dee Dee needs to know since she's the only one who's got <laughs> Some consciousness to her. What is it that Dee Dee needs to know? Oh Lord, a bunch, <laughs> a bunch. 
trust, healing, and gratitude. Bruh, faith in the power of the universe. She needs to take a leap of faith and like trust that it's okay on the other side, that she is able and like welcome to start healing herself and to appreciate your present blessings because I think that maybe that's why she's gotten to the point of accepting such disgusting behavior to a point where she, you know, subconsciously or whatever feels like she deserves it. Allegedly conspiracy, whatever, you know, it just, it feels like she needs to allow herself to see the abundance and the blessings that she already has in her life so that she stops allowing herself to accept this treatment as if that's all she can get. What up, witches and bitches? What up, retro dolls? Okay, anyways, so as you saw, the video pretty much cut off at that point. My phone died and the video just went Pfft. Honestly, I thought the whole video was gonna be gone, so I'm just grateful that it came through. I really enjoyed making this reading, uh, and again, just to reiterate, this is all alleged for entertain entertainment purposes only. Please do not send any hate to anybody mentioned in this video. If you have any suggestions for future video topics, feel free to drop them in the comments. Let me know your take on all of these things. Let me know your conspiracy theories, whatever, you know, and what you would like to see in the future. If you want to get a personal reading with me, I have my moon workshop, so new moon and full moon, depending on where the moon's at in the sky these days. Spell kits, all of the good things. You can get that through my website, jessieretroreadings.com. I also curated a discount specifically for my retro dolls. So use the discount code retro dolls at checkout to save you some money, honey. But until next time, if they ain't paying you bills, pay them no mind. Check you later.